Hi guys, mainstream science wants us to believe that a photon has a rest mass of zero. Well, we're smarter than that now, aren't we? As stated so many times and proven so many times by me, mass and weight are not related. So that's the first fuck up which, of mainstream science. They think mass and weight are related, so they mix them up. They shouldn't. The mass of a spinning nucleon equals the mass of a resting nucleon. That's the first step. I will compare a nucleon to a photon. First, a nucleon, when it's spinning, gravitons hitting it from the side are transferred to the other side using the cradle of Newton and then get shot out into space. So there's a delta impulse for the graviton, uh, which has a reaction pushing this little mass particle to our planet. So that's, of course, the concept of gravity, as shown before. So this little motor spins around. This one makes up for the crystal structure, and the other one spins it, pushing gravitons into outer space, propelling them into outer space, pushing mass down. The mass of this little nucleon when it's spinning around, is equal to the mass when it's standing still. When it spins, it's made out of six gravitons or three quarks. And when it stands still, it's still made out of three quarks, six gravitons. So no change in mass. However, when it stops, there is a change in weight. The weight of a spinning nucleon does not equal the weight of a resting nucleon. Mass remains the same, weight does not. Because the moment it stops spinning, it cannot um, accelerate gravitons into space and therefore will not have any weight. It will not be pushed down to Earth. And this is what you get with superconduction. All those little nucleons, by the cold, get gridlock. It's a purely mechanical thing and therefore it will remain hovering because gravity has no influence anymore. The motor is stationary. Only at normal temperatures, this thing spinning around, pushing the thing down. There's a slight uh, relationship between temperature and the spin or time. So, that's uh, the first half of the story. Spinning nucleon, mass remains the same. Six little gravitons make it up. So, mass is the same, although weight changes. Well, the same happens with a photon. A photon is a quark and it goes through space like this. It cartwheels through space. So it has two movements forward and an angular momentum. So there's your forward speed and your angular momentum. This thing cartwheels through space. In effect, having the same effect on gravitons. It does accelerate gravitons into outer space, although very slightly it's not a nice little engine like this it's far lighter it has a very a high speed speed of light this one goes two times the speed of light so but in effect it's not that uh, the gravity on a photon is very effect is very little so little gravitational effects when it's spinning around when it's stationary there's even zero gravitational effect again look at these examples of a nucleon when a nucleon is spinning, there is gravitational effect. When it's not spinning, there is none. There is no difference in impulse. Again, a photon cutting through space is affected by the gravitons and gets pulled in very slightly. But when it's stationary, it's just a simple quark. And then the impulse difference between the graviton before hitting and the graviton after hitting is zero. So the mass of this photon before is two gravitons when it is spinning, two gravitons when it's stationary, again two gravitons. The rest mass does not change. Don't let them fool you. Rest mass of a photon remains the same. The only thing is it weight. The weight differs because it stops spinning. Now the weight is zero. When it is in rest, the weight is zero. And since science mixes weight and mass, science says the mass of a resting photon is zero. That's it. And that's that. Thank you. Bye.